Hey everyone, and welcome to another Mighty Mini Monday. So today we're gonna to learn another little Git trick that I just don't know that everybody knows about, and I wanted to share it with you. So what I have seen is that if you check out here, we just finished a Learning Rust episode, episode nine, and um, you, you know you can do Git log here, and you can see this beautiful multi-line uh, commit. So this is really some more cool stuff. But not everyone knows how to make a multi-line commit from the command line. So let's learn how to do that. It's really, really, really easy. I promise you it's going to blow your mind how easy this is. I'm going to have to stretch it out to a whole minute by filling it in with some talking like I'm doing right now. That's what I'm doing. All right, so most of you know how to make a git commit. We're going to git add our files. Um, we can do a git status. Again, some more good filler content. That's what you all like, I know it. And then what, what we can do here is we can do git commit dash m. Um, and this is going to be the title line. So let's give it a good title. Um, init episode, episode nine. It is the ninth episode. All right, so we can do this. Now, if we hit return right now, it would make a commit and it would have episode nine. Now we could append to that and we could change it and whatnot, but we wanna do this in one shot. How do we do that? We have that, but we wanna say something a little bit more. Well, you can just give it another dash M. You can do this as many times as you want. So now let's just expand on what we did in this commit. Um, added episode, added crates.io content, Let's do another line and let's call say something about uh, made CLI app because that's that's what we did. We made a CLI app that took command line arguments. All right, now let's let's do this and see what it looks like in our Git history. All right, so now we can do Git log, and there we go. We have a beautiful multi-line git commit with no extra effort. I hope this is interesting. I hope that has helped you. I hope that you learned something today. And as always, let me know if you like these Mighty Mini Mondays. I'm thinking in the future, if you guys don't mind me stealing this extra minute of your time that we have, I think in the future, I'm going to actually make two or three different playlists based off of technology because I wanna do some of these Mighty Mini Mondays on uh, Kubernetes, but I'd like to have them separated in different playlists. So if people wanna watch my Mighty Mini Mondays on Kubernetes, they can just roll through all of them. They're all going to be Mighty Mini Mondays. They just won't all be in the same playlist. Now, I probably will make one like main, uh, main playlist that they're all in, but it will be a hodgepodge of different things from Linux to Git to Kubernetes, uh, maybe even some Rust ones if you guys would like them. All right, that's it for me today. Maybe some Go ones? Would you guys like Go? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what little tips you'd like to do, what technologies you'd like to have Mini, Mighty Mini Mondays on, and I'd love to learn interesting things about those to share with you all. That's it for me today. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I hope this has helped empower your next week as a software engineer. I just kind of looked off to the side of well before I was done speaking. I was eager to press that stop record button. Have a fantastic week.